Hello you guys, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to teach you guys how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Now this is a video that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So anyway you guys, the first thing that you want to do is you want to know what the color scheme is. So blue will always be opposite of green. Yellow will always be opposite of white here, and red will always be opposite of orange. This middle is the centerpiece. This is an edge piece, and this is a corner piece. The corner piece will always have three colors. In this case, this corner piece has blue, orange, and yellow. This edge piece here has blue and orange. And this centerpiece just has orange. The centerpieces do not switch colors, so you can't switch this centerpiece and this centerpiece because of the color scheme. So, also, you want to scramble it, so I'll see when it's all scrambled. Okay, so it's all scrambled up. So, yeah, here we go. Now, the first thing that you want to do on the 3x3 is you want to find the yellow centerpiece. When you find that, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a white cross like this. With all the edge pieces being white. But in order to do that, we have to start with the yellow centerpiece. So here we go. This is an example of what it should look like. Now I'm going to demonstrate a few scenarios on how to make it look like this. So we have our yellow centerpiece. So now we need to find a white edge piece. And I see one up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this front front piece, I mean uh, front face, and then we're just going to move it up that way. So now the edge piece is lined up with the... Um, white uh, yellow centerpiece so now let's find another white centerpiece so here we go here's one so we gotta get this up here now if we just move it up it's gonna knock the other piece out so we gotta put that back what we're gonna do for this one is we are going to move it 180 degrees and we're just going to move it up so it can match up with the yellow centerpiece so now let's find another one let's see one right here so we can't just move it up because then it'll knock the other piece out and plus it's not even up there so we gotta move it back so we have it right here now what are we going to do what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it this way. So now it's right here, and this is up here. Now what we're gonna do is you're going to move this, and then you're going to move this this way. Now you're just gonna move it up so it matches to the yellow centerpiece. So yeah. Now we need to find one last one, which is down here. So this is at the bottom of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this under the edge piece place that's not solved. So here we go. And here we go. Now we're just going to move it 180 degrees so you make it look like this. So now that we have this white daisy pattern on the yellow side of the cube, what we're going to do is we are going to look at one of the edge pieces. Let's look at this one. And the adjacent color to it is green. So you got to match it up with the green centerpiece, which is already there. So let's move the front layer just 180 degrees. Or, in the lame words, two times. Now let's look at the next edge piece. It's red. 
So we have to match it up with the red centerpiece. That's the green. Now there's the red. So let's move it 180 degrees. Or two times. Okay, now here is the next one. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the adjacent color, which is blue. And we're going to move it to the blue centerpiece. And move it 180 degrees. So now, let's look at the very last centerpiece. What we're going to do is we're going to see what is the adjacent color, which is orange. So we're going to move it to the orange centerpiece and move it two times or 180 degrees so now if we look at the white we should see it as in the white cross which is what we've been looking for in step number one step number two okay so in step number one what we did was we made this white cross now what we got to do is we got to get all of these corners solved in order to solve the white side. And get something else solved as well. What we're going to do is we're going to look for a white corner. In instance, there's one right here. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the adjacent color to the white corner. Not at the bottom, but at the side. And we can see that it's blue. So we gotta match this blue up with the blue centerpiece, which it already is matched up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this white corner, and this white corner is going to go right here. What we gotta do is we gotta move it out of the way, bring this down, move it back in, and put it back. So now the corner is in, and this part is matched up with the blue centerpiece and the other part of that white corner which is red is matched up with the red centerpiece so let's find another one right here so what we're gonna do is we're going to see the adjacent color to it on the side which is orange we gotta match it up with the orange centerpiece so let's move it until we get to the orange centerpiece now there we are so orange and orange those two are matching so we're going to look back at our uh, white corner, and this white corner is going to go right here. So what we got to do is we got to move it out of the way, bring this down, move it back in, and bring it up. So now we got this corner solved. And this part of the corner is matched up with the blue centerpiece, and this orange part of the corner is matched up with the orange centerpiece. So now let's look at another corner, which is right here. Let's look at the adjacent color to this, which is orange. It's already matched up with the orange centerpiece, so let's look back at it. Now this corner is going to go up here. What we gotta do is we gotta move it out of the way, bring it down, move it back in, and put it back up. So yeah. Now, for our very last corner, we got to find it. All right, right here. So let's look at the adjacent color to it, which is green. Which is my favorite color, by the way, if you didn't know. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the... Look back. I mean, we've got to match this green with the green centerpiece. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. So anyway, let's match it up with the green center. Let's look back at the white. And this is going to go right here. So you know the drill. Move it out. Put this down. Put it back in. And put it up. So now you should have the white side solved. And a small T on every side. Step 3. In step number three, our main goal is to get the middle layer solved. That's what we're going to work on solving. So let's look down at the yellow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find an edge piece on the yellow side that does not have any yellow on it. So let's look at this edge piece. This has yellow on it. Let's look at this next one. This does not have any yellow. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to get the blue part on this edge piece matched up with the center. That's the same color. In this case, it's the blue center piece. Now it's already matched up. So what we're going to do is we're going to see that the red is the adjacent color to it. And the red is over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just move the red in the opposite direction of where the red center piece is. Then we are going to solve the, the edge piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this layer down, this layer down, this middle layer left, and this layer up. So now that we did that, our white is going to be messed up. So it's kind of, what I imagine it like is a puzzle that's trying to be solved. Like this can match up with this. Anyway, that's what I imagine it has to be. So, yeah. Anyway, sorry I keep poking my head down here. <sighs> I, I don't know what's going on, but anyway. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to move this down to here. So, it's right there. Now we're going to put this just right here. What we're going to do is we're going to move it out of the way, bring the middle layer up, put it back, and bring it down. So now let's do that again. Let's try to find an edge piece with no yellow. And here's an edge piece with no yellow. So this color is green, so we've got to match it up with the green centerpiece. So here it is, the green centerpiece. So the adjacent color is red. Now the red is over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it the opposite direction of the red. We're going to move this bottom layer, this right layer, this middle layer to the left, and then this right layer up. Now we gotta fix our white. So we bring this layer down, remove this, put the middle layer back up, move it back in, and bring these two up. So let's do the exact same thing again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the bottom layer. And what we're going to do is we are going to look for an edge piece with no yellow. Now this edge piece has yellow. This edge piece has no yellow. See, look, as you can see, this and this. That's not no yellow in there. So let's look at the, the color right there. And it's already matched up with the orange centerpiece. So here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we are going to find where the blue is because the blue is the adjacent color to this orange, which the blue is over here. So let's move it the opposite direction of the blue. Move the bottom layer. Move this left layer. Move this middle layer. Move the left layer back up. So now we need to fix our white. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this layer down. Now we're going to move this out of the way. Bring the middle layer up. Bring this back, and we're just going to move these two up. So now let's look at the bottom layer again, and we need to do one last one. Now, I found the layer with no yellow, and it's already matched up with this orange center piece. Now the green, it's over here. So we're going to move the opposite direction of the green. We're going to move this bottom layer, this left layer, this middle layer, and this left layer again. And then we're going to fix our white. So we're going to bring this middle layer down. Now we're just left with this edge piece. So we're going to move this out of the way. Bring this up. Move it in. And bring these two up. Now we should have the white side solved and the middle layer solved. Step four. 
Here in step four, what we're going to do is we're going to try to solve the yellow side. So here's how we're going to do it. You can have a few scenarios here at this point. I will show you three algorithms that you'll...